Hi guys and welcome to the Sub Rogue uh, guide and rework to some of the changes in BFA. Um, I'll be going through the single target and then the AOE for um, stability. So yeah, I'll go through that now. So for your first talent tree, Gloom Blade is back as your first talent. And Find Weakness, which is a new talent, which your Shadow Strike and Cheap Shot ability reveal the floor and the target's defensive, calling all your damage to bypass armor 40, by 40%. And Weapon Master, which is the same as it was in Legion. Your Shadow Strike and Backstab have a 15% chance to hit the target twice. So I just take this every time due to the fact that if you do get that proc of 15%, you're going to do huge, huge burst damage to the target. And yeah. I don't really like the use of Gloombade or Find Weakness because they're kind of the same in the way that they bypass armor, so yeah. Next one you've got Night Stalker, while Stealth or Shadow Dancer is active, you deal, you move 20% faster and your abilities deal 12% more damage. Shadow Focus and Subterfuge, I take Subterfuge every single time because I can open up with a, with a cheap shot and then use a really hard Shadow Strike. And especially if Shadow Strike does the extra 15%. And hits again, it's just going to deal huge, huge damage to the target. Next one you want to take is Vigor, obviously, again, so you have more energy and more energy regeneration. And these two just, you don't really get a big use out of it. Next one is Cheat Death, Elusiveness, which is the same for all the rogues, but Soothing Darkness. I take Soothing Darkness all the time because I'm going to be in Shadow Dance a lot, and healing in Shadow Dance is just really, really good. 3% every one second is just really, really decent. And obviously, in other situations, I can just vanish. Wait, get around 50% health, then re-engage. So for your next one, you have Strike from the Dark. Shadow Strike also stuns your target for 2 seconds, and plays a daze for 5 seconds instead. I don't like using this, because when you use Shadow Strike, you should start to engage, and you don't want to Shadow Strike and wait. So this is not really a good talent to take. Shot in the Dark, after entering Stealth or Shadow Dance, your next cheap shot is free. This is not really that good, because especially in a PvP situation with uh, Diminishing Returns, you don't want to be using your... You, you want to know how long you're putting people in stuns for, which is the main thing. So I always take Prey on the weak, so that when I get a full kidney on a target, they're just going to take huge, huge damage from all my other sources. Um, next is Enveloping Shadows. Give Shadow Dance an extra charge, and uh, reducing the cooldown on Shadow Dance for a combo spent. Alarcity? Alarcity? I don't know what that, what that spell is. It's stupid. But yeah, you want to take Dark Shadow all the time because going into Shadow Dance increases your damage you deal by 25%. Especially if you go into Shadow Dance and Shadow Strike hits again with that 15%. It's just crazy. So for your next one, there's Death From Above, Master of Shadows, and a spell which hasn't been designed yet. But just Death From Above, I'm pretty sure it will be Death From Above even when the new spell comes out because Death From Above does so, so much damage. So I'll just um, show the rotation for the single target so you want to start off by running up by the target obviously sapping them if you can but I can't sap the dummy so you want to open up with a cheap shot so they're stunned and then a shadow strike and then another shadow strike before you uh, leave stealth then use night blade on the target so they're taking damage from all sources and then enter shadow dance for your first time eviscerate shadow strike shadow strike shadow strike and this is where I use death from above first because it's going to deal huge huge damage and then you want to open up with your Shadow Strikes again. And just using all of your spells, put Night Blade back on the target so they're taking more damage. And I'll use Shadow Blades now, so I'm building loads and loads of combo points. I'll enter Shadow Dancers now as well. Use Shadow Strike, hopefully it crits again. And Eviscerate. So I see uh, Night Blades might uh, end soon. So I'm going to use that now, refresh that. I'm going to vanish again so I get um, Substifuge to proc and then Death from above. So it's really, really fast paced for um, sub rogues as it was in Legion. If you want to maximize your DPS, you've got to be really efficient with your Shadow Dance times and the amount of times you're stunning and whatever. So now I'm just going to enter Shadow Dance again, Shadow Strikes, reapply Nightblade once I'm out of this um, Shadow Dance. Reapply Nightblade, use up my Symbols of Death so I'll get energy back. And then I'll use a death from above. So death from above now. And uh, big damage. And just keep backstabbing the target. And eviscerate. On my next one, I'll make sure night blades up all the time. You just want to make sure night blades up all the time. Because it's going to take... The target's going to take 15% more damage. And if you don't have night blade up on the target, your damage is just going to be really, really, really lacking. I'll now go through the AoE 
talents and rotation. So you want to take um, Weapon Master again. These talents don't really matter what you take, so I just take Weapon Master. Just when I open up from Shadow Strike, it's just going to be really, really good. Um, the next one you want to take is um, Night Stalker because you're going to be in Shadow Dance a lot of the time when you're using um, when you're using f uh, Shuriken Storm. So yeah, you want to make sure you always take a Night Stalker. Vigor again for that extra energy and energy regeneration. And Suvin Darkness again, just that extra HP. And you can also take, just keep Prey on the weak because you're going to be stunning targets a lot. The next one you want to take, you can take um, Dark Shadow again because obviously when we're using Shadow Dance now, we'll use Shadow again, Dance, get the extra 12% damage from Night Stalker and the extra 25 from Dark Shadow. And if I'm using Shur Shuriken Storms inside Shadow Dance, it's just really, really good for me. The next one you want to take is Master of Shadow so that obviously when you're going into Shadow Dance, which we're going to be doing a lot, we're going to get loads of energy to spend on Shuriken Storms. So you just want to start off with the... Um, with your cheap shot on your shadow strike. You want actually because we don't have um subterfuge, you want to open with your shadow strike. So you just want to start off. You can give the target night blade, but obviously if there's more than one, you want to be using Shuriken Storm. And now you can be using Eviscerate and Shurikens on all the targets. Obviously with every Shuriken, each target gives you a combo point. So you're gonna be generating combo points a lot quicker. So now we're gonna enter Shadow Dance again. Obviously when we enter Shadow Dance we get more energy. So I'm just gonna be using Shurikens, Eviscerate Shurikens, because we're going to be hitting hard. Make sure you try and get Nightblade on as many targets as possible. Obviously, when there's more than two targets, say if there's five, you'll be able to use Nightblade, Shuriken, and then just instantly another Nightblade on one of the other targets. So you just want to get Nightblade on as many targets as possible and just be spamming Sur Shuriken Storm. And obviously get Symbols to get some energy back. And just keep spamming Shuriken Storm and Nightblade. Just using Shuriken Storm. You don't ever really want to be using Backstab if there's more than one target. You want to get the extra combo points from Shuriken Storm. So now in Shadow Dance, we're doing more damage. So yeah, this is pretty much it for the um, for the sub rogues at the moment. I think the extra talent here is going to be the um, that Shuriken Storm damage increased, like the um, assassination one was, like the back uh, the back legendary. So I'm pretty sure that is what you would have to take instead of Master of Shadows. But at the moment. The single target for sub is looking really, really good, and I think sub will be probably one of the best 1v1ers in PvP, just due to its survivability with Suvin Darkness and Weapon Master, with the, the RNG chance of just dealing huge damage with two Shadow Strikes in the target again. So yeah, that's it for sub rogues at the moment. I'll be um, bringing up more guides in the future, so like and subscribe if you want to see them, and see you in the next one.